one good test with thousand expert opinion. So let's see how to integrate SSL to Apache server and set up virtual host. Right. You may wonder why two things in the same episode. Right. If we set up SSL integration, the virtual host will automatically happen. Okay. Let's see what is SSL. SSL enable a secure socket layer where we can communicate, the browser can communicate with the web server through encrypted channel. So anyone in the middle can't read or manipulate the data. Second thing is virtual host. What is virtual host? Virtual host, we use the same server to set up multiple domain and multiple website inside there. This both can be done with the same configuration. While SSL, we had to use some certificate from a certificate authorizing party. So let's go and see how to do that one. Now we are going to see how to uh, assign a domain name to a public IP address. So this uh, our website uh, can be referred through a domain name. So currently I am going to show with a subdomain. To do that one, we need to identify the uh, public IP address of this instance. Uh, so normally we use if config command to find the public IP address but uh, here if I run that one it doesn't show the public IP address because this is uh, AWS uh, EC2 instance and normally the network interface mapped with the private IP address so what I have to do is they, they gave a small uh, URL so if you do a curl to that URL that will show us what is a public IP address so this is only for uh, this Amazon instant uh, situation uh, if it is a uh, our machine we set up a machine and connect to by public IP address it may show additionally in the AWS uh, console we can see the public uh, IP address uh, uh, that also one of the way so this is a public IP address I'm going to set this uh, for the DNS so currently um, th this particular one is from um, Namecheap uh, website Namecheap uh, uh, hosting provider there I registered one domain name so under there I want to add uh, this particular IP address uh, with the name uh, subdomain name called uh, vhost right so simply uh, this is own file anywhere this look uh, similar to this one so just add new record click that one then uh, there will be a place uh, to edit it okay so they gave a record so I select the a record then host so this is a subdomain so my domain will look like uh, canopus.com so there I am going to put vhost 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 then the public IP address then if I go there and vhost dot then the base domain name it will map to this particular public IP address it may take few minutes based on the service provider and all and uh, very first time when we load it is a, it is a new URL so uh, it will work but if I change the IP address then it may take sometime 24 hours to reflect so currently it will work most probably I save it right if I type this domain name it will load the server what I set up already that's how I map with the DNS now just will test the info also right as we done last time uh, this uh, info file also getting loaded after I add the uh, DNS so this particular DNS very first time done so it's quickly reflected on uh, our internet service providers if I go and change the IP address uh, next time it may take even 24 hours to reflect it so this is one portion we tested now let's see how to set up the virtual host and how to route this vhost to another folder then SSL integration also now we are going to create a CSR file and the pri private key file uh, associated with the CSR file so I'm using the command open SSL to generate that one so simply we give the open SSL command then uh, these parameters we had to give uh, 2048 uh, that RSA key so little stronger one then uh, output files so CSR uh, CSR file name we had to give here then uh, key file this is a private key file 
um, um, this we have to give the file name so these two files will be created in the folder after that this additional details if we give here it will be fine otherwise when we are running the command it will ask so simply we say the country is shortcut then uh, state um, then uh, location also then organization name so this will be shown in the uh, browser that uh, padlock icon when we click these are the details will be shown uh, then uh, uh, department uh, and the domain name base domain name also we have to get, give so for example I'm giving the domain name supernova.com so simply the actual domain name should be given here then uh, then just run it so it will create uh, the CSR as well as key file it's created so see so these two files are created here um, so the key file we will be keeping with us in the server it will be available on the virtual host setup uh, CSR, uh, CSR file will be utilized with the SSL um, issuing party so whatever SSL we are purchasing there we will submit this CSR it is uh, having the encrypted data into the private key file then uh, based on that CSR we will generate uh, two more uh, file from SSL that we actually purchase then we integrate that also then only it is a fully qualified uh, SSL certificate will be ready right just see what is inside this file it is just encrypted data so just see so this is even though it is encrypted when we submit this uh, those servers can uh, decode and show this information we gave there the second one um, uh, won't uh, give the data like that right so this is how it will look like so next step we will see how we make the virtual host let's see the virtual host part now so I will go with the tutorial which I have right so here we have a path uh, in this path normally uh, the virtual host uh, related files are available there are some commands also available most probably yeah this command so in a deployment if we can't find where the virtual host setting related files available just run this command so it simply shows uh, where we have to put the apache config uh, to set up new virtual host so this is a path so i already set uh, the path to speed up the tutorial see what is there sudo ls minus lh right so site enable path is the one having um, the template file so this is a template file we have to copy that file to a folder called site enabled right inside the path we'll see uh, we say I already set up uh, one of the virtual host so that uh, we can go and see what are the parameters available there So default already available but still uh, I set up these two files uh, let's see inside there what are the parameters uh, important so this first file uh, our domain name exact domain name with the subdomain then config file is the one telling normal HTTP based uh, uh, new site where the folder will be pointed and all these details so simply we are mentioning the port and uh, we are mentioning the base domain name then we are mentioning the exact uh, subdomain name after that which path so normal default path is var www then just html that is a path normally holding the website in the default uh, setup now new virtual host when we are putting we can create a path as we want and once created we are pointing to that so normally I used to create under www parallel to html folder creating in the same domain name so easy for me to follow up then HTML so in any places fine we can go for anything then additionally we can handle the error and access logs also in a separate path but currently it is diverting to the same path if you want to keep this particular domain name and its related uh, log files in a different path it's possible when the traffic come through that uh, URL those logs will be created in a new location then uh, we'll see how the SSL configuration done so almost same file name we will be using but additionally uh, SSL so 
almost same uh, similar name but uh, don't worry about this name there is a way to add this uh, so until that it won't work um, so we gave a new file name and there SSL configuration we are putting so same as serve admin uh, uh, email address then the base domain name the subdomain name uh, if it is the pure base domain we are going we have to say here as www same here as well then after that uh, again the path so this path is supposed to be the same path as above so previous one uh, then SSL engine on SSL certificate file path we had to give here so this is a file we generated uh, uh, we purchased so CSR and the key file so you remember the open SSL which I created so this is listed here this key file the moment we generate the open SSL we have to carefully keep it and not to share with anyone it is only to use with the server parallelly CSR came that is having the same information so we submit the CSR and after that we purchase the certificate files so this CRT and the CA bundles are given by the uh, SSL issuing uh, company uh, we had to purchase and download that one while purchasing we had to submit this CSR so the CSR's relevant encrypted file in the key available if this is matching with this CRT and bundle only it will work it means that both should be generated together so after that one we place those file in this location so we can see even certain permissions are important so this should be in the root and read only then again uh, so these two files are there in the root then the private key file is supposed to be inside the private location So we have that file in the private key location here just not one more point so group should be SSL certificate uh, user should be root so we gave like that now we'll he see once added this one it won't work we can see here we tested that one so this is not loading this is actually HTTPS I typed and I went to the SSL checker and checked also the domain is available but they are telling no SSL certificate added so once we enable this and restart the server this both should work so that's the step we are going so simply uh, this place I say the config file name uh, we can give anything because this a place we are adding that one and this is in the previous tutorial we mentioned uh, the enable mode uh, the routing uh, URL and all this is a thing uh, ENE sites so we, we enable this one ENE sites so this is added successfully then other one again the same command ENE site then we have to add the SSL uh, config file path a config file name so again this one vhost.com hyphen ssl dot config this also added after adding both of this we have to restart the apache so the system ctl restart apache also fine this should be sudo while we starting the apache we seen an error message and uh, when we check what is the error message it is telling SSL engine uh, perhaps misspelled or most probably we didn't enable that one so let's see how to enable this one now let's uh, restart the Apache and see whether it's working yes it's working status is working fine now we'll go and check um, whether virtual host is working or not right so SSL working CSSL is working then next thing is um, I just custom put this path and I just uh, pointed to the new path so, uh, which I already show that this path have this file name 
and we already write that uh, it is in it is from the virtual host or even easy way to check that one just go there just remove this but still it will point to this one now we it is loading from the cache previous one when I clear the cache it is loading the new path from the new path so now we will check the SSL what is the status of SSL see here this is earlier saying uh, no SSL certificates found now we'll see and you see this website SSL shopper and there are any many other websites are available um, to test your SSL integration so this simply shows SSL status it shows uh, sec t go is the one we purchase it then all the certificates are fine actually no errors shown so it's a good uh, integration so this is how we can verify the SSL is fine right now just see one more thing in the HTTPS once you enable HTTPS this padlock will be shown if it is not properly integrated still the padlock will show but this uh, site will alert us and tell there is a problem and most probably that is CA chain that file is not there so we can go to the certificate and connection is secure certificate valid we'll see what is inside there so it is telling where we purchased and the more details here domain even expiry dates and all shown so this is an important point uh, even if you are maintaining a website with uh, HTTPS uh, uh, it is not forever so definitely it will expire based on how we purchased mostly they purchase uh, yearly basis then every year we had to go there and redeploy the certificate and uh, restart the server enable and check it so see the complete detail this is a wildcard uh, SSL purchase so any amount of uh, subdomain we can provide and check there they, they are saying who is issuing that one so rather than free one this is from a proper third party fine so this is how we set up virtual host and the um, server uh, SSL certificate thank you